broke how we broke down on the side of the road and I was smoking with strangers. Y'all wanna know the tea? Tap in or watch this video. Keep watching because I got some tea for y'all. I am all that I preach to be. What's up, Jim Squad? It's your girl, Jimmy Shit. I am back with another video. Y'all, I'm gonna be giving y'all some tea, a story time of some crazy, a crazy experience that I had, but it really was kind of like eye opening. Y'all know me, I'm gonna find a message in a motherfucking message. So let's get straight down to tea. First of all, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Hopefully, good. Hopefully balanced. Hopefully I got y'all minds right. Y'all shit together. Your motherfucking. Hopefully you get it all together. We're gonna get right into the video, y'all. So all right, check this out, y'all. So yeah, I notice every time that I'm not gonna say every time, but it's been past tense when I've traveled it's been a crazy experience that happened in regards to me getting there the transportation right so I would say this is about like maybe the third time it's been kind of like a delay on my traveling 111 delay but never denied period check out that video if y'all haven't checked out that video then check out that video after this video delay but not denied so basically y'all I'm on the way to Orlando, so I decided to travel on the Megabus, which, check out my last video, Megabus, Megabus video. I didn't really know any recording. This is more of a, um, I want to say more of a by myself type of experience, so I'm doing more of one within, within instead of like, you know, experiencing traveling. I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to just be more hermit about it, if that makes sense. So, basically, uh, I had um, rode the Megabus to Orlando, and it was crazy. It was a nice, and I just knew the energy just seemed kind of like off a little bit, but I'm still going with the flow. I'm not really letting anything, you know, affect me. I, I know when the energy shifts. I know when it's mine, when it isn't. You know what I mean? So, it's like I try not to let it control or consume me. So, y'all, this shit is crazy. So, we riding, like, you know, we boom. We all, we, we an hour out, y'all. Why the fuck this big ass bus then fucking broke down? Like, oh, hell no. Down this, so, we think it, it ran out of gas. So, everybody word of mouth, like, okay, we ran out of gas. You know, everybody spread the message, da, 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 which was a lie. So we all think, and that's how you know, like, really, literally, like, one small message can, it travels at the speed of light, basically. So we all thinking that it's gas issues or whatever like that. <clears throat> so, y'all, it wasn't a gas. We waited maybe about an hour for roadside assistance to come. So they had roadside assistance on the way. Plus, um, another bus so-called on the way, but come to find out they did it after the fact, but they did, if that makes sense. So, y'all, the whole time now, I had that on the way there, I was right here. So, I usually get, we gotta hit the vape for this one. <laughs> I usually get angel messages, y'all, angel numbers. So when I get the numbers and I'm, when I feel like it's, I have to go look up the number, I'll go look up the number to see what it means. So this specific number, 613, was just saying how looking at things from a higher perspective is how you're going to get through the situation. So, y'all, this was like, oh, this is a wild situation. So we're on the side of the road. So... Me instantly, I don't, when situations come about, I don't panic. I don't really, it really depends. Sometimes I'll, get, I'll be in my human self and I'll, you know, be emotional and crying and all this stuff. And, but I'll let it 
you know, I'll let it fly by. I'll let it, um, I'll, you know, think it over, analyze it, and then move from there. So, this particular situation, so, yeah, I'm just like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to chill. Um, I had already, like, was kind of convers conversing with, you know, um, this guy on a, on a bus, like, you know, we was exchanging social media, um, collaborating. He put me on some raw shit, um, as far as, like, this, as far as, like, amazing collaboration. Like, I'm very grateful, you know what I mean, for the, for that, for, for, for the be beautiful beings that I was in contact with. So, I had then basically, like, got off the bus and sat and chill. Y'all know, y'all know I be on my and I'ma say shit. So, I sat in the side on the grass. I don't know, I don't need y'all remind everybody else standing up, like, um, you know, and me, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna sit down in the grass. As long as I'm gonna peep, scan the area, as long as it's, you know, it ain't no shit or anything there, I'm gonna sit my ass down and I'm gonna ground because I'm, I feel like I'm one with Mother Earth. I'm not no, I'm not looking at the earth as being dirty, you know, even though they make it appear dirty and whatever the case. We used to walk this motherfucker with no shoes on, okay? So, I'm sitting in the grass, you know, just chilling at my vape. I'm like, I'm cooling. I'm not finna, I'm not finna be tripping. I need to be grounded any fucking way. I haven't. I have, but this situation really hit me sitting on, sitting my ass down grounded. So, next thing you know, you know, it, a lot of people started pouring out. So, a friend that I was, um, I'm gonna say a familiar, a familiar that I was, you know, um, exchanging information with on um, social media tags business ideas um just bouncing shit off of each other type shit he had came you know and sat next to me on the ground like it wasn't nothing next thing you know a girl had that came out sitting next to us on the ground so it was just like kind of like a ripple effect i you know not not saying that they seen me in it went from they seen me doing it so they figured it was okay you know okay well we she doing it she so fuck it so we all you know sit down so next thing you know he pulled out a J y'all we started smoking y'all why is we smoking trees on the side of the road while our buses fucking broke down now, i don't even know these people but it was just like it, it felt like i knew them it was like a, feel, a familiar you know experience so it was like we was all like just huddled together have a conversation but it was this one one um dude like when he he first walked up it was just like why y'all sitting on the ground y'all know it's snakes out here and da, 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 da. and we like i'm like look bro you bringing that fearful energy this way do you know the snakes they read energy they can feel your heart you know so why are you bringing that feel fearful shit to us so i'm just trying to explain to him that it's a hard work so he's still trying to tell me you know sometimes it's people you just can't really talk to so it's like really pointless so after a while i'm just like whatever so he ended up eventually he didn't sit down but he had then you know got squatted low enough or whatever like that but yeah it was just like a really it was a really you know it seemed like it was a bad experience as far as like we broke down on the side of the road waiting for hours my arrival time was supposed to be seven i didn't arrive till 11 so i was on the make bus for four in this situation from 4 to 11. So, well, it wasn't 4 to 11, but I got on the bus at 4. It was, you know what I mean? So, that time frame. So, we was just, like, basically, like, talking about life and shit. Like, it was crazy because neither one of us knew each other, but we was all, like, speaking what we felt about each other, relating messages, and that shit was just hitting. And it was a chaotic experience, I feel like, because... Everybody was everybody inside was going crazy. Like before, I had to get off the bus. Like we had the babies crying. It was hot. You know the mommies was getting a little irritated. Everybody was just, I felt like going, you know, crazy in a way. So I was, you know, just trying to keep my calm, stay, you know, keep my energy low key, not really spazzing type shit. So it was really like a, it was a wild experience, y'all. Like. And then on the side, of, you know, you thinking you're on the side of the road. So, like, I was having certain thoughts, like, like, some final destination type shit. I ain't even much going to lie, but I had to transmute that shit. Like, this is not my energy because I already know. Like, I don't do all that worrying and shit when it comes to situations. Like, I just don't. It ain't no point. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, um.
after I had, um, you know, I was relaying a message, like, this message came to me. And you know, you know, it's like how we respond to the situation is not, you know what I mean, or how it turns out. So it ain't really no need to worry or stress, y'all. But we really had, like, a really good, like, deep, heartfelt conversation on the side of the road. Like, we were smoking our shit. Well, it wasn't our shit, but it was, you know, we all had a blunt in rotation. So, well, we didn't all have our own type of blunt, but it was a blunt in rotation. So, it was just like, wow. Like, I was just thinking, like, wow, I'm really smoking on the side of the road. Broke down on the side of the road smoking with strangers. Like, what the hell? Like, what is, what, what's going on? But, y'all, I realized, like, every, like, every time a situation comes about, it's because something bigger is on the other side. So, now I'm just, like, you know catching these down catching these downloads catching these messages like okay this happened for this particular reason but it was all like a i feel like a learning experience and it's just like really like just i don't really know for me i feel like collaborating with others because if we would have still been on that bus like i wouldn't have had the conversation with the other guy i wouldn't have learned what i learned from him he was um i think he was african but it was just nice to hear, you know, about how they do things and just learning, you know, we bing bonging ideas off of each other. And then it was, uh, it was a beautiful goddess. Like she was just her whole presence. She was just, you know, low key, but it was still, she was still like magnetizing. She was over on the side doing yoga. So it's like, we was all, once we started act, after we had been kind of like, you know, calmed our minds even more because once we got out there and grounded grounded it really was like a good experience after that it was slow still like we had that thought once the um the the road assistance guy came with the gas we like okay it's the gas you know boom 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 we finna be up out of this thing y'all we in the way like everybody was being happy everybody getting on the bus <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, we the bus started up a little bit, then that bitch broke right back down, like right back down. So it was like we had literally got all our, we got excited, we had all loaded back on the bus, and next thing you know, that bitch boom broke down again, y'all. So everybody really at this point irritated as fuck because it's like we thought it was this, but it wasn't this. So it's like now we have enough. It was just uh, uh just turmoil, turmoil, y'all. So I was starting to. Um, I was getting hot, so I was kind of getting a little irritated. I just had to keep going back outside to kind of balance my energy because, you know, I'm surrounded by all of this different energy. It's a full moon, so y'all already know how that should be. There's a full moon. It just seems like everything is chaotic. Everything is at a full capacity. Everything is extra. Everything is just whoa, big mama, big energy type shit. Like anything that's... You got an argument, that bitch blowing up into, you know what I mean? Fucking, it's just chaos. It's just chaos, period. And, but you know it's a balance. We gotta have to go with the bad, so. It is what it is. But, yeah, after, um, you know, we waiting on the, we waiting on the, ne the mechanic. That's what it was. We was waiting on the mechanic. So, we was like, he coming from Orlando. Now, we was in Daytona. So, we like, okay, we gotta wait. For the mechanic to hopefully be able to fix whatever the fuck wrong with this right there is, but like just ghetto. It was just ghetto, y'all. Just ghetto. But um, after I said about 30, 40 minutes, so I started to get irritated. So I'm like, okay, I gotta call. I gotta call my ride because I'm not gonna be. Ain't no telling how long. So it was just. I ended up calling my auntie. My auntie Kate was on the way. Like I'll say about 20 minutes out. Next thing you know, y'all, why the fuck a bus pull up behind us? So I had to call her and tell her, um, you know, the bus here. I don't really want, I don't want to wait, but I don't want to wait on the side of the road. But at this point, it was going to be an hour for me to get to her. Yeah, it was just all over the place. Oh, my God. So finally, after I just, I think I started writing. I started writing and kind of like trying to get my mind off of that shit. And next thing you know, bus ended up pulling up behind us after about two hours. So I really felt like this situation happened for me to just 
you know, I always look at things, I feel like, from a higher perspective, but it really be giving me, like, a deeper insight on every situation and what it is and why. So, y'all, that was just a wild experience. I just wanted to, like, basically come through and, like, just, you know, tell y'all, just, you're going to be delayed, but not denied. Like, you're going to get to your destination, no matter what obstacles try to come in the way. Like, you're going to get through there, and you just got to stay calm. Calm before the storm. That's what I'm hearing. Calm before the storm. And now that I think about the weather is kind of, you can't, you can't really say I feel, but the weather is kind of like iffy. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. it's something coming though. But you just stay in your, stay grounded. Stay on your P's and Q's. Don't let nothing or nobody knock you off your pivot. Um, you know, things going to happen and it is what it is. So, y'all like this video like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell button so you will be notified when your girl come back with another video until then i am out deuces y'all enjoy y'all day and keep them vibrations high period